So someone recently told me that the anti-poverty network is accidentally the best left-wing group in Adelaide because it's not the sort of thing listening to all the hardcore socialists and radicals in town that you would think would be in at the moment. What the anti-poverty network does isn't exactly what you'd call cool at times. We don't go out to hang with the cool people. We've gone out and we've found people who genuinely need help in this city and we've done what we can. We've agitated them, well we've agitated in whatever way we are able to make sure people understand and radicalised to understand that they have rights as human beings that the government and the media narratives don't tell them and to that end we've also educated people to tell them the same thing even to educate them on political theories and very regular unemployed people who don't come in with this kind of knowledge who have very difficult circumstances and some of them are very inspiring people beforehand who've just had something unfortunate happen and then we organise them through the anti-poverty network and part of that organisation takes place every year for the last couple of years and it's happening this year on October the 20th and 21st and that's a Friday and a Saturday on which in which we agitate, educate and organise all within those two days and we'll be teaching people their rights with job agencies, we'll be holding workshops discussing what's wrong with job agencies, what's wrong with our current systems. We've had workshops in the past which discuss whether we should have a universal basic income and it's a group that is frequented not just by radicals and socialists like myself but also people who just need, who need a fundamental change in their material conditions and we don't judge people just because they don't hold the same political opinions as us although it would be nice. We organise a safe space where everyone is free to organise and bring ideas that are generally, to be fair, of a very left-wing or fairly left-wing slant, but we don't get down to the nitty-gritty of deciding who's a particular brand of socialism or not, or who's this particular best lefty in the room. We get out there and we do things that actually aim to fundamentally change the economic, just the economic hardship of people on New Start. We do it in a way that acknowledges things like how these horrible New Start programs, every time they get worse, they're generally tested out on Aboriginal people first. And it's also important to note, as we often do in the group, that unemployed people, that queer people tend to be more, un more often unemployed and more vulnerable when they are unemployed and even when they are employed. So there's all this radical dialogue and all these ideas that we expose people to, we, to, to a good extent, without judgment of the fact that they haven't come across this knowledge themselves yet. So it's, it's not an easy balance to strike, but we, we do our damn best, and I think the anti poverty Network gets very close. So if you're interested in any of what I've just talked about, we have a huge educational conference every year that's happening this year, October the 20th and 21st. That's a Friday and a Saturday, and I really think you should come along anytime you're free. And if you want to come to the trek on the Monday afterwards, on the 23rd, I'll see you there as well. Looking forward to it already, I know. So...